welcome the one and only, the queen, Jody Watley. Oh, okay. Don't hurt him. How you doing? You look so amazing. All right. I'm going to just keep it a stack. I'm fanboying a little bit. I'm fanboying. I'm just, I'm going to, yo, you don't know how much I love you and appreciate you. I saw her when it backstage and I wasn't even prepared. I was like, I had my sweats on. I was walking and I'm, oh, that's Jody Watley. Like, like, it just hit me for so many reasons. But one, let's just, first of all, this year is the 35th anniversary of your debut solo album. Yes. And today is actually... Jody Watley Appreciation Day. So put that hashtag Jody Watley. <laughs> so when I say I gotta give you your flowers, like first of all, we knew you even before you were Jody Watley. We knew you from Shalimar. Mm -hmm. And then you came and stunned it on him uh, solo. So and to have you and I, I can I say it, don't she look exactly the same? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What is in your water? What, <laughs> what are you doing to look exactly the same? Well, you know, I just try to live with joy and uh, take care of myself. I think joy is very important. There uh, it is. And it, and, it, and it exudes from the inside out. And, it sure does. And so I, I just live with that all the time. She, she glowing. That's that wattage right That's there. That wattage. That's yeah, I, I call it the wattage. Like, always it. let your light shine. Let your light yeah. shine. And you are doing it in so many different ways. So. It's Jody Watley Appreciation Day, so we definitely <laughs> gonna appreciate you. Thank you. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take it back again. Uh, I'm fanboying a little bit because, first of all, right? right? I think was it uh, what the music video? And I remember it was controversial at the time because before, like all the Rihannas and the Beyonces, and when it comes to style, in fact, they gotta give you your props first because I remember. <laughs> No, real talk, because I remember being a kid and you had a music video where you, you was in a bra. Yeah. And you had on your jacket and it was just, she was the first I had ever seen do well, that. Wait, wait a minute. I, it wasn't just any bras, Gautier. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Miss jo it was Gautier. Gautier off the runway. I, I was a little boy. I didn't know what it was. I was, I was excited, though, because I had never seen nothing like that. <laughs> and I was like, Mama, whoever that is? <laughs> and it was just, I mean, I mean, hit after hit after hit. And you just, you were the biggest pop star at that time and continue to do it with so much grace. Thank you. But you I want to talk about your style. Like, truly a style icon. How did, how did that all come together? Were you just like, I ain't got no shirt. I'm just going out here and just go <laughs> TA. Well, you know, I just try to, I, I think early on, I wanted to represent that it's cool to be different and you can rock vintage, and then if you have money to get some high-end designer pieces, you can do that. You can get vintage designer pieces and rock that. So it's Thank a little you know, the rock. Color essence right there. You, you know, used to have the little, little the skirts with everybody the, with the... loves the, the the tutu and yeah. everything. And so to be celebrating 35, and I you know wrote some great songs with Andre Simone and. Uh, other great writers, Franny Gold, Don't You Want Me? And so my visual style really has always complemented my music. And so the street, high, low, urban with high end is still very classic. There it and is. Still very now. <laughs> Don't you want me like I want you? <laughs> now, Joey, we got to talk this because we got a little something in common. Uh, back in the day before Jody Wiley was Jody Wiley, even before Sha Shalimar was Shalimar, you was dancing on Soul Train. Yeah. I used and to dance on Soul Train. I was going to say, didn't you too? Yeah. <laughs> that, so if y'all know anything, like, first of all, we all grew up watching Soul Train. Mm -hmm. And to be a Soul Train dancer was probably one of the coolest things ever. And so I remember we used to have to, outside Paramount Studios, I was a teenager, I was 15 years old. I used to stand out there and just hope to get picked because you had to have a yeah. good outfit. And then they didn't give you no money. They paid you in chicken and Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's true, but you know what? And I always tell people, it's like wherever you are, your dreams, your aspirations, um, be tenacious 
and really have a plan, you mm -hmm. know, planning, preparation. So being on the show, I always wanted to be an entertainer, write, design clothes. And so it really was the launch pad of everything. But, you know, a lot of dancers been on the show. You know, I became a trend-setting dancer yes, on the show. Did. And since you're on the, uh, we're not having a dance-off, are we? I'm not. You would win. You would win. <laughs> if we were going down the Soul Train line. But we might because we about to groove. You about to perform. So I'm going to be back there Soul Train dancing. <laughs> Getting it in. You ready? I'm ready.